Bitter, hard-edged race politics are everywhere in schools at the moment. In some places, anti-racism has taken over curriculums. Very few elected officials even acknowledge this is happening. One is trying to end it. That official is the lieutenant governor of Idaho, not the governor, the lieutenant governor, Janice McEachin. She's assembled a task force to fight the indoctrination we're seeing. She's running for governor of her state. She joins us tonight. I'm really glad that you came on tonight. Thank you so much. And first, let me just ask you, it's a little confusing since you're the lieutenant governor of Idaho. What, why isn't the governor doing this? Well, I'm a constitutional officer, and we all have our duties. Um, when I see, I'm learning about this, and I'm seeing from students, and we're, there's a tunnel of, of oppression at the Boise State University. A uh, big city coffee got chased off the campus, and big donors at BSU are coming to me and telling me this is a problem. And so as a duly elected official, I, I yes. don't sit around and wait for action. I take action. Well, and amen. And so I form this... I, I formed this task force committee, and, and we're set. You would think that a red state like Idaho would be safe from this, but, but this is a theory and indoctrination of our young people that is threatening the very fabric of our conservative American values. And since I started up this task force, I have been attacked by, I've had media, their attorneys and the education union come after me, um, but uh, they're, they're coming after all of us and uh, we're not safe and, and they, they may think that they're going to intimidate me to back down and not really understand what's happening in our state, but they don't know me very well because I'm not going to be backing down. I'm going to make sure that we protect our, our kids in Idaho from, from this theology. Yeah, it is theology, and if, and if you can't keep Idaho free of explicit racism in schools, then I guess all is lost at that point. Ha, I mean, big companies have funded a lot of this stuff. They traditionally have given to Republican candidates. You are a Republican candidate. Have you heard from corporate donors on this question? Are they on board or no? I've not heard that yet, but we're just getting started. And really what we're trying to do is understand what this is. We had our first meeting last week and we this is what I found that the way the left operates is they they use these nebulous terms so that we don't really understand what is it that they're talking about is this American imperialism is this critical theory uh, social justice agenda critical race theory what this is it, it, critical race theory is a religion of secularism and guilt which is an attempt to undermine and supplant our American values with fear and suspicion. And so whatever they want to att attempt to, to label it as, and we're gonna get to the bottom of that, make sure that our laws are shored up to protect and make sure that this doesn't happen in Idaho. We're gonna do whatever we need to do and be proactive here in the state of Idaho to protect our kids and to protect all of us as Americans and Idahoans to, to be uh, what, what President Trump did so well, and that is protect America, protect Idaho first. And we, we're looking forward, and like I said, I, I'm not gonna be backing down. Well, good for you. All of us are created equal by God. Nobody is responsible for the sins of his ancestors. Collective punishment is immoral. And those are American values, and anyone who's against him, I, I think, should be taken on, and I'm glad that you are doing that. Thank you very much. Good luck. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Tucker.